To change the engine oil and filter on your Razor Trail, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface in a well-ventilated area, and ensure the transmission is in park. Then, start the engine, and allow it to warm up at idle for two to three minutes. And stop the engine. Next, pull up on the cargo box panel latch, and pivot it up to remove. Continue by carefully cleaning the area around the oil cap. Then, remove the oil cap and set it aside. Next, place a drain pan under the engine crankcase. Placing a rag in the bottom of the drain pan will help prevent the splashing of oil. Then, clean the area around the oil drain plug. Remove the drain plug and allow the oil to drain completely. This process will take approximately 15 minutes. Next, remove the engine access panel by pulling out and pivoting out. Before continuing, position a shop towel underneath the oil filter to catch spillage. Then, turn the oil filter counterclockwise to remove. Using a clean, dry cloth, clean the filter sealing surface on the crankcase and ensure the old O-ring is completely removed. Then, lubricate the O-ring on the new filter with a film of fresh engine oil and ensure the O-ring is in good condition. Then, install the new filter and rotate it clockwise by hand until the filter gasket contacts the sealing surface. Then, turn it an additional three quarters of a turn. Once the filter is installed, wipe up any residual oil. Ensure there are no shop towels left on the engine. Next, clean any dirt or debris from the drain plug and ensure the sealing surfaces are free of any burrs, nicks, or scratches. Also, install a new drain plug washer on the drain plug. Then, reinstall the drain plug and torque to specification. Before continuing, clean any residual oil off the vehicle. Next, add the proper amount of the recommended oil through the oil fill cap. Do not overfill. Then, reinstall the oil fill cap and wipe up any residual oil. Next, start the engine and allow it to idle for one to two minutes. Then, stop the engine and inspect the vehicle for leaks. Next, remove the dipstick and wipe with a clean shop towel. Then, reinstall the dipstick fully and remove again to inspect the oil level. Add oil as needed to bring the level to the upper mark on the dipstick. Then, reinstall the dipstick and wipe up any residual oil. Then, reinstall the access panel by aligning the top retaining tabs and pressing on the bottom to secure. Next, reinstall the cargo box panel by engaging the retaining tabs and locking into place. Then, firmly press down on the panel to engage the latch. Before continuing, dispose of the used oil and filter properly at your local recycling center. Next, use a grease gun to grease all suspension grease zerks. Your vehicle has grease zerks located on the front sway bar mounts, rear sway bar mounts, and the prop shaft. Next, move to the rear of the vehicle to clean the spark arrester. Allow the vehicle to cool completely before performing any spark arrester maintenance. Begin by removing the spark arrester fastener and nut. Then, carefully pull the spark arrester out of the exhaust and clean any debris on the screen. Inspect the screen for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Then, reinstall the spark arrester into the exhaust and align the mounting hole. 
Reinstall the spark arrestor nut and fastener. Torque the fastener to specification. Once complete, the maintenance reminder can be reset in the instrument cluster. To do this, turn the ignition switch on. Then, press and hold the mode button to enter the options menu. Navigate to remaining service hours and press the mode button to reset them. Using the directional arrows, select your desired service hours until the next service and press the mode button to confirm. Then, navigate to the exit and press the mode button to return to the main screen. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit polaris.com.